Whoa, hello. Hey YouTube, Gecko Guy here. Just going to be showing how to uh, handle your geckos here, your African fat tails. We've got a little skittish one over there. So let me bring her over here. She's probably scared of the light. All right, there we go. No worries, baby. All right, there we go. It's all right. All right, so she just showed us a little defense mechanism. Um, so what I like to do with my uh, African fat tails, hopefully I'm getting everything in frame here. You never know with live animals. What I like to do is uh, I kind of like to do a little scoop here, just to let them know that it's me. And then they'll just walk right up on my hand. So see, she's a little skittish right now because I scared her and the bright lights are freaking her out. So probably not even in frame, so I apologize about that. Okay, but this one in my uh, left hand here, she's very tame, so, and if you're wondering what that stuff is all over them, it's uh, calcium powder. Oop, come on, you don't want to fall off there. Okay, there we go. So that's just what I like to do with my geckos here. Alright, see? Even though she was a little skittish, we still got her in, still got her in the hands, so... This is how I like to hold my uh, African fat tails and um, you know if you kind of change the angle of your hand a bit they get to climb and that's how uh, a lot of people were commenting on Ben and how big his biceps were. Um, that's because that this this is what I like to do with my geckos. Um, you kind of let them crawl on your hand a bit, build, uh, build up a little bit of muscle. There you go. Come on girl, you can do it. All the way up. There you go. Up, up. Sometimes uh, giving them a little stroke on the tail or pat on the butt will do it. There we go. So, uh, I'll come back. Actually, no, I'll do it in this shot. Um, so, how do you get a little skittish one like that used to you? Well, you gotta hold them a little bit, you know. Um, when you first get your gecko, like, first get them in the cage. I don't recommend you hold them at all for the first two weeks or so. And then by the second week, um, of course, obviously you want to feed and water them and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, stick your hand in there. Um, of course, this is going to want to try to focus on the geckos. Um, get them to know you a little bit. See if she'll lick me to let her know it's me. Hi. Yeah. That's daddy. There we go. All right, so just kind of like that, just a couple minutes a day, and then maybe you can try to do a the little hand walking motion just in the cage um, for a couple minutes. Maybe that'll that'll do it. Um, after you get them used to knowing that it's you, and maybe try hand feeding a cricket in front of them. Uh, generally, with African fat-tailed geckos, they don't go after slow-moving prey. Um, and they don't normally hand feed out of you, um, like, and um, like with bugs and stuff, uh, with worms especially, they don't like to go for them if they're really slow moving, unless you just got them out and they're really wiggly, um, definitely super worms, well maybe, maybe sparingly for those types, uh, for those sizes. These are fully uh, grown adults. But you can try a horn worm, a wax worm. Um, waxworm sparingly, of course. Um, hornworm, waxworm, silkworm, you can try them all. Um, but, you know, don't make your geckos dependent on those worms. Alright. Whoop, come on. Focus. There you go. You want to focus on the geckos. Or maybe not. There we go. Alright, but, uh, reptile guys, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Um, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.